That's a perfect occasion to welcome now one of our newsmakers of the week, somebody who's going to be keeping India's flag flying on the chess table. At the tender age of 10, while most of us were busy exploring the wonders of childhood, this remarkable individual was etching his name into the annals of history, shattering world records. As a 10-year-old, he'd already achieved the title of the youngest master. And just two years later, he ascended to the exalted rank of Grandmaster. And imagine at 16, he was triumphing over world champions. The accolades don't cease there. The list of his accomplishments seems endless. Even though he just turned 18 last month, it was a month that was also marked a significant achievement as he finished runner-up at the Chess World Cup. And we now have the pleasure and the privilege of welcoming chess prodigy Ramesh Babu Pragnananda. It's such a pleasure to talk to you. And first of all, many, many congratulations. Uh, for, you've been having a really fantastic run, haven't you, for the last few months and years? Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, true. I mean, I've, uh, the World Cup was uh, one of my best tournaments. And, and I've also been playing well. Uh, my game, game-wise also, I'm playing well. So I'm very happy with the way things have been last few months. Okay, a short while back, you had this absolutely spectacular moment where you rode uh, in a chariot into your school with your mother. Uh, for you, that must have been a really special moment. Yeah, it was. And uh, you know, coming back to, to the school uh, where I studied, it's, yeah, it feels really a proud moment for sure. How many years were you at that school? And when you went back there, what did the people there say to you and what did they do? Um, yeah, around 14 years from L, uh, kindergarten to, to 12th grade, basically. And um, is that where you learned to play chess at that school? Um, no, I learned it outside, but I think uh, there have been a huge support for me. I didn't have to... Um, I didn't really have to focus on my studies. Uh, they were there to, you know, help me out whenever I have to give my exams. And... Um, yeah, huge thanks to them for, for everything. But, you know, talking about support, I have to say that your mother has almost become a bigger star than, than you have because so much attention has been focused on her. She's always there for you, the way she supports you so much. Uh, what message would you like to give about her and the role that she's played in your success? Yeah, I'm very happy to see that uh, usually the players or the person who, uh, who achieves something gets gets the recognition but in this case I'm also happy that their efforts are also being recognized. I think it's a good thing uh, to see. All right, let, let's shift our focus uh, to chess now. And obviously, the World Cup uh, as that happened, you came, you came very close to the brink of that. Where do you see the path ahead for you and what are the areas of your game that you think still need to be work, worked on? Yeah, I think my opening needs to be a bit... Um, bit better. I mean, I in the World Cup, I don't think my opening was something that was giving me some edge. Uh, I was just playing well, so that was the main thing. Um, I think in general, I have to be in good shape uh, consistently. Um, and yeah, I try to play good chess consistently. That, that's the key. Now, this time, a lot of people are saying that chess has become dominated by computers and trying to figure out permutations and combinations. And what do you use now? Are you, are you using a lot of technology? Is it more intuitive in your case? Are you seeing what's been happening with artificial intelligence in the world of chess? Um, yeah, no, I, I think nowadays uh, computers become very strong, so we have to use them to learn. Um, and we're also working on our openings, computers. It's almost must nowadays um, at the top level. And uh, so, yeah, we, am, we are trying to uh, <coughs> trying to learn with that, um, trying to learn how to use it as well as trying to uh, learn from it. And, and, yeah, it's very interesting for me to see how it kind of impacts the play. So, coming back to that question of uh, support system, again, must be very important in things like the Asian Games. We saw at the time, uh, at once upon a time with the Soviet Union, Soviet players would be able to perform at a different level in chess because 
that entire machinery around them of support. Uh, they had the ability to get uh, advice from other people from seconds. Um, are we starting to build that sort of a support system now in India? Um, I mean, not not like that, but yes, India is uh, um, chess is growing in India and I'm very happy to see that. And we have a lot of coaches in India, a lot of players coming up and um, right, I think the ecosystem is kind of very good and um, we have everything uh, coming up, so I'm very happy to see that. Uh, you are, of course, riding on the shoulders of giants like Vishwanathan Anand. Has there, uh, there must have been conversation between you and him and any tips that he might have given you on how you could even become uh, better from, from where you are. Yeah, I mean, I've been working with him through Westbridge Challenges Academy. Um, and we have been in constant touch and discussed a lot uh, with Anand sir. I've learned a lot. And not only from him, uh, also other coaches from Westbridge Challenges Academy. And yeah, um, first, yeah, I've learned a lot from his games as well. So, I mean, I, it's always an it's always an inspiration for me. So, looking ahead now, as you take the next step forwards, what are the next goals and targets that you have in mind for yourself? Yeah, I want to get my rating up um, and get to the top ten soon. And the Asian Games is coming up this month and also candidates next year so there are some very strong tournaments coming up so that will be my focus and of course the big moment now asian game starting you must uh, clearly the team must be considered favorites for the for the gold medal in the asian games um yeah i am playing in the team event so it's a our team is definitely one of the strongest um maybe the strongest actually uh, so we have very good chances of getting a medal and if you all play really well and can you have a good chance of a gold medal. All right, one last question. Magnus Carlsen, not going to be there the Asian Games, but I'm sure he's very much on your mind. Beatable at some point, you think? Is that one of the items you're going to be looking at once the Asian Games are over? How will you beat him? How do you become world champion? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's very strong. He's the best player in the world. Uh, whenever I play him, it's, I feel like it's an opportunity to learn and I always give my best and um yeah to you know to compete with him at, at at like you know his level i think i need to improve further and i'm working on my chest so yeah um um like whenever i play him i i just enjoy and play so all right Pragnananda, thank you so much for joining us it's been it's been such a pleasure thank you so much